Welcome to Sailing with the Jameses. I'm Kate. And this is Sam. And this is our daughter Charlie. This week on Sailing with the Jameses, we move aboard our new home and give you a sneak peek of the interior. Okay, so we just packed up the moving van. Today was settlement day and we picked up the keys to Shining Light. And Yeah, we've packed it up. We're going to head down to the boat now. We did it in the ute coming down, but there's been a bit of rain about. So we went a van this time to try and keep it nice and dry. And that means we don't have to unpack it till the morning too. So, so we've gotten a higher van to move all this stuff. Um, because it's raining we hired a, a van it's a bit too big for all this stuff but it does keep it all dry and this morning just found the um, the box that says tea kettle so the wee one has helped me pack the box into the trolley and then we're gonna go back to shining light and make a coffee. So we sat down, had a quick cuppa before we started our task of moving all our gear on board. The weather wasn't ideal as there was a fair bit of rain about. So we enlisted a friend to come and give us a hand so it would be a lot quicker getting the gear from the van to the boat in between all the rain showers. As we were moving all of our gear on board, we came to the realization that most sailors usually do when they're going through stuff on their boat. They realize how much stuff they have that they want but don't need and how much stuff they need but don't have. And here's a bit of a sneak peek at some of that very same stuff. While we were loading all the gear on board, our daughter Charlie was practicing her disappearing tricks. Where's that? Where's Charlie? I see. She's under here. Where? Where? I don't see her. Where's she is. There she is. Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? I see. You're under there. Hey guys. So we just moved on shining light. We're still sorting everything out, but come on board for a quick sneak peek and um, we'll sh give you a quick tour. So this is the back deck here. We've got really big plans for her, but we'll go over that another time. So come on inside. All right, so welcome aboard. So on the starboard side, right inside the door, we've got our nav desk station. And then you'll notice that Charlie is also right here next to the door. So she's temporarily in her porticot because we are still sorting out her room. And then above the nav desk station, we've got two areas up here. One on this side and one on the port side. And these are our day beds. So we've got big plans for these to utilize them. Um, and then We've got our dining area here. So this is our big dining table. This drops down and this all becomes a big bed. So the plan is during long passages to put that into a bed and sleep here during uh, so the middle of the boat so less movement and everything, more comfortable. We've got our galley over there, galley up style, which is amazing, great views. Look around, we can be on watch and cook and everything. Um, you'll notice that the lining up above is not fully complete. So all around the windows and everything, we do plan on finishing out the boat and putting the lining up. So it's all foam here, so the lining stops and it's all foam and it's bare, bare aluminium. But, so down this hole, 
down these stairs. This is the port side. We've got the bathroom over here or the head on a boat. And on this side, we've got what's going to be Charlie's room. And then if we come forward, down these stairs is going to be our guest room and our playroom. So we'll take you down there in just in a little bit. And if we go over here into the galley and down these stairs, this is going to be our owner's hall, which we'll show you. So let's go down the owner's hall. Okay. All right. So we just come down the stairs into the owner's hall. So we've got the back cabin, which we plan on making our cabin. So we'll finish off. The plan is to finish off the lining, put some fairy lights up, uh, make this nice and homey, put some pictures up and everything. And this is actually a four cabin layout and there's a queen bed forward, but we're going to turn that queen bed into storage and make this entire hall the owner's hall. So let's go forward and show you that. So heading forward in the owner's hall, we've got uh, laundry here so we can hang laundry inside. So these all pull out like that and we can hang laundry inside and both of these pull out and they close down really easily. And then if we head forward, sorry about the mess again, we're still sorting things out. But this will be all made into storage. This is a really nice area. We'll add some lining again to the ceiling. And then forward here, we've got um, a porta potty. So in the forward of each hall, there's a porta potty. This one we plan on making into. Um, an actual toilet, a household toilet, a marine toilet. Um, so we'll plumb it in, we'll put a holding tank on the other side of the bulkhead. And then at the moment, um, Sam doesn't want to put in another shower because we will be putting in a shower on the deck. So we will have two showers. We've got a really nice one on the other side um, and then a deck shower. So I'll make two. I'm still undecided. so. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you think we should put in another shower into the owner's hall or whether three is going to be overkill. Um, but this will be our ensuite toilet. So toilets definitely go in there. So one thing we really like about this boat is that it was an owner builder. So what that means is that the owner actually built it and it was for a family. So it's got plenty of storage. So the storage here, nice mesh um, for ventilation, especially for the tropics. And then storage here, up forward, storage, storage, storage on the bed, storage everywhere. And um, one thing I really like is that there's a mirror here, which I plan on turning into a vanity. So we'll make it an entire owner's hall and then have a toilet there and have like a vanity, which I'm really excited about. Um, and lots of shelves and everything. So we're really excited about turning it into an owner's hall. So let's check out the port side hall. So coming down the port side aft stairs, we've got the toilet here and Charlie's room back here. Okay, so this back one will be Charlie's room. She's not in it at the moment because the ceiling is not lined and because it's not lined we're a bit afraid that she might be picking at the um, the foam that's on the ceiling. Um, the other thing is, is is that there's wires still exposed so we want to line it first before putting her in here and we need to create some sort of barrier to make sure that she's nice and secure. Um, we picked this room to be Charlie's room because it's right across from the toilet. So nighttime routine will be easy to get her straight into bed. Also height wise, she can stand up in here, um, play and I, um, play and everything. One of the things is that when we're on watch, she's got a hatch up above. So if you're on watch, um, and to keep an eye on her while you're sleeping, you can just poke your head down the hole, down the hatch and 
look at her. Um, the fan in the back corner, we're not sure yet. It doesn't have a guard on it. It is a plastic fan, but we might need to be switching that out for a fan with a guard on it. Um, but this is Charlie's room. And then we'll go to the toilet. So this is the toilet. So we've got toilet there. It's a push button toilet, which we're super excited about. And the other thing is that this is a fully separate shower. So you're not getting the toilet paper wet um, while you're taking a shower. And also you can fully stand up and wash your hair, um, which Sam might miss the seat in Endless Summer, but I'm fully excited to have all this space in here. But this is the head. Okay, so if we come down these stairs, we're gonna go into the, what's gonna be the guest cabin and the toy room. So in here we'll have the guest bed and forward we'll have Charlie's uh, dollhouse. And then in this cabinet will be all toys. So we'll sort of try to keep all the toys into one area of the boat. But uh, that's pretty much the plans for this room. Well, that concludes our sneak peek inside of Shining Light. Thanks very much for all those who watched to the end. We really appreciate all of your support. Join us next week as we leave the marina for the first time on our maiden voyage. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. See you next week.